name is given by the scientist that is Walter H. Schottky. So after the name of the scientist who invented the Schottky effect or Schottky diagram, the name is Schottky. And if I give you the symbol for the Schottky diagram, it is like this. It is just like a pain mentioned I use, but with the S symbol towards the vertical line. Okay. So this S symbol represents this S of the short key diode. So this is how you can identify the symbol for the short key diode. It is used in many applications like high frequency or high speed switching, high speed switching circuit. And it also can be used as low voltage, high current, rectifier circuit. So the two main applications of the short key diodes are uh, in the switching circuit and in the as a rectifier. So we will see how it is going to be used as a switching circuit and a rectifier. And let us discuss some concepts related to the short key diode. See, whenever metal and semiconductor are brought into the contact, suppose we have some metal and there is some semiconductor material. So whenever these two materials are brought together, what will happen? That will form a, a kind of device. Depending upon the work function of metal and semiconductor, the different two types of contacts are going to be formed. So suppose this is metal and this is semiconductor. These two junctions will be the short key junction and another will be the ohmic junction. So in case of short key diode, the short key junction is formed. So the condition to form a short key junction is the work function. The work function of metal should be greater than the work function of the semiconductor material. So the work function is also denoted by E W M. So that is denoting the work function energy, the work function of the metal that should be greater than the work function energy for the semiconductor that is E W M. So these are the representation for the work function. Also we can represent it by Y M, that the work function for metal should be greater than the work function of the semiconductor material. In case of ohmic junction, the work function of the metal is going to be smaller than that of the semiconductor material. So we get the two conditions. Whenever the work function is greater for the metal as compared to the semiconductor, the junction that is formed is short key junction. And whenever the work function for metal is less than the semiconductor work function then the junction form is ohmic junction. Since short key diode only short key junction is formed. Let's see what is work function and what is the energy through a energy pair diagram. So I am going to give you an independent energy pair diagram for the metal and n-type semiconductor. Suppose this is the metal. This is the metal. And for this given metal, the fun energy level is E F M. And we know that for the n type semiconductor, for the n type semiconductor, we have some balance point, we have some balance point that is represented by like this line this balance band energy EB and this is the center of the energy band gap and there should be a conduction band so the lowest energy of the conduction band is given by EC now this middle line is representing the Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor so this is from an imaginary line so this is EFI that should lie just exactly between the EC and EV. Now, 
for considering the anti semiconductor anti semiconductor we know that the fermi energy level for anti semiconductor will be about this fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor so suppose this is somewhere here this is e f s so i'm writing s to denote it is a semiconductor material and suppose there is a standard line suppose there is a standard line that is denoting the vacuum level so this energy is denoting this line is denoting the vacuum level so this is some standard line or some the standard energy level so it is representing the vacuum level now the energy difference between the vacuum level and the fermi energy of the matter is the difference is given by e w and that is the power function of the matter so that will be equal to what e into vm so e is the charge on electron that is the charge into voltage that is vm Similarly, the difference between EFS and the vacuum level is representing EVS. So we can say work function of the semiconductor that is EWS, that is the semiconductor work function, and there is some factor that is called as affinity, electron affinity, that is the difference between vacuum level and the conduction band energy that is represented by E. Theta s, so that is the electron affinity. And from this graph, you can see there is a gap between the conduction band energy and the Fermi energy level of metal that is denoted by the difference that is equal to E V m minus theta s, right? Because this Whole energy is EVM. We are subtracting E theta s from this, so this difference will be EVM minus theta s. So this is nothing but the barrier that is EVM. 